This is actually part two. If you need to go back and see part one, you can click the link in the description below or you can click up here and it'll take you right there. A box truck a day is about $2,000 in profit. Instagram, I don't spend any money on. Facebook, I don't spend any money on. So that's a big piece of the puzzle. And that goes into this machine and that machine. They're both vinyl cutters. That will add on to some that of your profits. That will add on your profit margin. Okay. When we're doing big jobs, we know exactly what's been done, what hasn't been done. Okay. But it can make the money back because the machine's doing it. Right. So when a customer comes in, before they leave, mm -hmm. what is the average invoice? You know, what around what is their total going to be when they're coming in to get service yeah. from you guys? So uh, really depends on which side of the business it is. Okay, right? if it's in the back or the front. Right. Uh, the front side is anywhere from a hundred dollars to say a thousand dollars max for okay. the most part. Sure. But in the back of the shop, you're looking at anywhere from two thousand to about. 15,000. Okay. Depending on what's going on. The HHR in the back, out back of the shop, we're doing a full color change wrap on it. We're doing a full PPF wrap on it right afterwards. Whoa. We're painting a bunch of stuff on it. Uh, we're redoing some of the window tint that needs to get redone. Uh, we're putting a bunch of graphic stuff on it too. Wow. We're wrapping the door jams. Like there's a whole lot That's going on. That's a project. On that. It's a big project. Oof. That right there is, you know, 10 grand. How much money do you spend on marketing? Mm -hmm. Has that changed over the years? Marketing ha has a big range, mm -hmm. and I hate to use that right. as an answer here. It's but true. It's a, it's a huge range. Mm -hmm. Depends on what you can afford. Mm -hmm. um, so at the beginning, when we first started, stickers. We put a sticker on everybody's car, right? We put our logo underneath every gas door that we wrap the car <laughs> on. We put a banner across the front windshield with our logo on it for branding. Mm -hmm. Those pieces cost me money. They're pennies mm -hmm. at the end of the day because a sticker is worth, you know, 30 cents for me to make. Mm -hmm. So that's a big piece of the puzzle. But like Instagram, I don't spend any money on. Facebook, I don't spend any money on. Uh, uh, Google ads, I don't spend any money on. Wow. I don't spend money on any of that stuff. But I've taken all that money I don't spend on there and I put it into a physical human oh. that can do all that. Okay. Right? Yeah. So a videographer slash videographer that's in the shop 24 seven recording, shooting, getting things ready, making it look fabulous. Nice. Cause that's what people want to see. Absolutely. Right? Absolutely. Yeah. Again, an employee that's going to cost you, uh, you know, anywhere from 20, or $20 an hour to 30, $40 an hour, depending on who and how good they are. Right. How much experience do they have? Yeah. It looks like you guys are busy at work back here yeah. working on uh, somebody's vehicle. Yeah, so we got a couple of vehicles back here. We have the Subaru and the Air. It's getting a full color change. Mm -hmm. So we're going from silver to the light gray. Mm -hmm. So yeah, as you can see, the panels are wrapped already. So this is your silver versus your new color. Wow. Yeah, I can see the difference. So it's a, this is a subtle change, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. But it's still a change nonetheless. Right, yeah, they're paying for it. <laughs> yep. And we use a lift on the cars half the time if we can. Okay. Just so we can get them off. My guys aren't breaking their back. Nice. You know, happy, happy employees, happy life. Right, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> How much would you say, you know, a lift like that will run you? If so this is kind of one of those entry level ones you can get for about 1600 bucks. Okay. Um, you can also find other ones for about 1000 to $800. Mm -hmm. This one will get it, you know, basically as high as us almost. Nice, so it gets the job done. It gets the job done. If you offer like kind mm -hmm. of the corporate gigs with the, you know, AC and heating, cooling companies yep. and, you know, pizza delivery. Right. That will add on to some that of your profits. That will add on your profit margin. Okay. So when you're doing the commercial world, say you're doing 10 box trucks, mm -hmm. you do each one in say a day versus a week, right? A box truck a day is about $2,000 in profit. Wow. If you're doing it correctly and in the speed that you should be doing. Mm -hmm. If you take a McLaren and you do it in a week, you're doing 2,000 in a week. Right. So that's where your commercial is gonna bring that profit margin higher. Got you. Now just your, that 50. your personal preference, mm -hmm. do you prefer doing 
The, no. you know, okay. No. no. <laughs> you want to do the mom? I want to I do this stuff. <laughs> okay, got you. When it comes to putting your team together, the employees that you yep. have, you know, working for and with you, yep. how do you go about finding those perfect key and role players to continue to be successful? It's very difficult uh, at the end of the day because you want to make sure you find the right person, right? Mm -hmm. We want somebody that wants to be here. Okay. Right? So there's big key factors. The style of person you are, mm -hmm. are you going to fit in with the rest of the team or not? Right. Right? Because at the end of the day, everybody has to mesh. Because if one person's starting a bunch of stuff, then we have a bigger problem. Got you. Because then no one's happy with anybody. Yeah. Uh, our hiring process comes from social media still. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a little different than the old day and age of go in and give your application, <laughs> here's my resume. Yeah, you know? yeah. And we get some of that, mm -hmm. but it's not a whole lot. Yeah. All right, guys, this is very important. Don't skip over this. Just pay attention real quick. Make sure you like, subscribe to the channel, and don't be afraid to leave a comment. We enjoy your feedback and we wanna know, have you ever got your car wrapped? And if you did, was it a good experience? Please leave a comment, we're always gonna read them. I'm seeing some machines over yeah. here. What exactly, uh, what goes on in this corner over here? Yeah, so over here in this corner, we have a couple machines. This is a print vinyl wrap that went through the other machine on the other side. Okay. Went through, we did a whole color. Uh, it gave us the colors. We designed it all on the computer. Okay. Sent it to the printer. Now it goes into this machine and that machine. They're both vinyl cutters. Got you. So that one is a Graph Tech um, 8600 160. So it's a 60 inch wide machine okay. for cutting. So it cuts stickers and cuts designs and stuff like that. This one is a Suma S2 uh, 160T as well. Mm -hmm. So the Graph Tech runs you at about, uh, I think right now, retail for new one is about nine thousand dollars the suma is about twelve thousand dollars because it's got a pickup system on it as well oh got you so this machine right here this is the printer this is what made that design on that vinyl over there the oh. camo print the logos and everything else got you and this is a 60 inch machine it will start you at fifteen thousand dollars okay upwards to forty thousand dollars depending on the machine mm -hmm. this one's a twenty two hundred or twenty two thousand dollar machine okay but it can make the money back because the machine's doing it. Right. So, you know. Nice, you can get a good return on your go. investment yep. if you're using it the way you're supposed to. Yeah, yeah and if it's consistently moving. <laughs> you talked about your customer service. Right. You know, how important is that to you and your team? They, and They tie in perfectly well. Okay. So customer service is number one key mm -hmm. to the business. The other aspect is the experience for the customer. The more of an experience you give the customer, the more they're gonna keep coming back or they're gonna enjoy what they got. We're always trying to give them the best experience of the tailored experience, Okay. right, at yeah. the end of the day. So they feel like they're a part of the team. That's what we want them to feel like. They're not walking into this big, you know, open-ended, like Home Depot or something where, where's the employees, yeah. you know, or something like they're that. They're here. <laughs> they're here somewhere, yeah. back there. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. But we want them to be able to feel it. They want them, we want them to be able to enjoy it. Mm. It's a, they're spending money and they're doing something they want, not what they need. Gotcha. But the more we give them an experience, right. as you talked about, exactly. the more they're gonna come back. And that's a great insight. Exactly. Yeah, and for more insight like that, you can check out the Upflip blog. The Upflip blog is at the website www upflip.com slash blog. That's www.upflip.com slash blog. Can you explain exactly what is this and what do you guys use it for? What is it? You it's know? organization. That's, uh, that's what we use this for. So okay. it is one vehicle for each side. So split in half, you have the Subaru here and another vehicle here. So we know when we're doing big jobs, we know exactly what's been done, what hasn't been done. Okay. And this goes back to making sure everybody knows their job and make sure they've gotten their job done. When our managers and our customer service side's going on, I can come back here, he can come back here and we can look at the board real quick and know exactly what's been done, what's not done. Nice. So we're already ahead of the game without having to ask the employees. Okay. Where are you at? Have you done this? Have you not done this? Right. Right. You guys already know. We already know. Yeah. Why is it that you think 
businesses like this fail after a year or two years? What is it? Is it that they're not doing like you guys are doing, yep. staying focused and, you know, grinding uh -huh. or? Go, it goes all the way back full circle again. Okay. Customer service, customer service, customer service, customer service. I know plenty of people who have started businesses in their garage mm -hmm. and failed in the first two years. First year even. Wow. Because they didn't focus on the customer. Gotcha. If you can't take care of the customer, they're not going to tell their friend. Wow. And they're not going to tell their other friend. Yep. One person is going to tell 10 people. Gotcha. It's a snowball effect. Yeah. If you can get one customer on board and they're good and you don't screw them over, you have two more. You take care of those two, you have four more. Yeah. Well, guys, you've made it through part one and part two. Thanks for watching our series. We always appreciate it. As always, make sure you like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon so you can get the notifications every time we put out a brand new video. I'm Justice Rogers for Upflip.